Jey Uso breaks silence after betraying Roman Reigns on SmackDown Real reasons why Jey Uso betrayed Roman Reigns on WWE SmackDown What is the name of Karrion Cross' new finisher? Rikishi sends a cryptic message after Jey Uso finally betrays Roman Reigns Roman Reigns' next step in WWE after major betrayal Let's jump right into it Real reasons why Jey Uso betrayed Roman Reigns on WWE SmackDown WWE fans and the entire wrestling world stood in awe and disbelief following the events that transpired on Friday Night SmackDown The Coke of the Pro program centered around the return of Roman Reigns and Jey Uso's decision on whether to remain with the Bloodline or leave with Jimmy. The storyline has been building for years. Sami Zayn left the group in January, while Jimmy Uso shocking left at Night of Champions. After much consideration and fans on the edges of their seats, Jey made a loud and pronounced choice. Main event Jey Uso was verbally dressing down his brother before shockingly super kicking Roman Reigns in the face. The twins then took care of Solo Sicko with a pair of brutal kicks before finally hitting Roman with a double super kick in the middle of the ring. The Bloodline angle is cinema. Part of the intrigue is the question it raises. Why did Jey Uso do what he did? The decision isn't as black and white as some may believe. In fact, there are many contributing factors that likely led to his course of action. Here are five reasons why Jey Uso betrayed Roman Reigns on WWE SmackDown. Number 5. He doesn't like Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman is one of the greatest minds in pro wrestling history, be it in WWE or out. He broke into the industry as a photographer and went on to become one of the great managers of all time. He also led ECW to become a big wrestling company in the United States at one point. Heyman is the wise man of the bloodline and has a lot of sway as Roman's lackey. Still, he and Jay do not get along. Paul has attempted to manipulate Jay repeatedly. Unfortunately, Heyman's manipulation backfired. Jay likely realized that the former WWE general manager could never be trusted, which only furthered his move to turn heel. Plus, Roman clearly wasn't going to give up Paul, which Jay demanded if he were to become the next tribal chief. Number 4. Jay Uso couldn't betray his twin brother Jimmy Uso. Jay Uso's decision seemed difficult in theory. He could choose his cousin Roman Reigns and his younger brother Sol Seko. On the other hand, he could side with his twin brother Jimmy Uso. Either decision meant losing somebody close to him both in WWE and in his personal life. While losing Roman would hurt on some level, and losing Solo would mean missing out on a bond that they were trying to build, it just isn't the same as losing Jimmy. The Usos are the greatest tag team in WWE history and have been united since birth. No relationship not with Solo nor Roman could quite compare to the bond those two have. While it may have seemed difficult, Jay was never going to side with anybody but Jimmy Uso. Number 3. He could try being the tribal chief of WWE without Roman's blessing. The Tribal Chief is a title that was only introduced to WWE fans a few years ago when Roman Reigns turned heel in 2020 and rose to power with the bloodline. Despite that, there's reason to believe it means far more than what may meet the eye. The title of the Tribal Chief is closely tied to the Inouye family and their Simone heritage. It is also linked with their decades in WWE and pro wrestling. Still, the rules of being the Tribal Chief remain murky. Roman Reigns is positioning it as an honor he can pass down, but is it necessarily up to him? Jey Uso could decide he's the tribal chief without Roman's consent. Jimmy and Jay would likely agree to that sentiment, while Roman and Solo Sicko would disagree. With nobody else stepping in, who's to argue the point? Perhaps Rikishi and other family members could crown Jay against Roman's wishes. Number 2. Jay is sick of Roman's mental manipulation. As noted, the story between Roman Reigns and Jay Uso has been going on for years. The bloodline first started teaming up together following the end of The Shield, but it became solidified in 2020. During that time, Roman Reigns regularly manipulated and verbally abused Jay Uso. In that time, WG fans have watched the head of the table gaslight his entire family, Paul Heyman and Sami Zayn, but nobody has had it quite like Jay. Jay Uso may have finally decided that enough was enough. Jimmy told Jay that he should have super kicked Roman a long time ago. The words had an impact on main event Jay Uso. The tribal chief deserved this. It was years in the making. Number 1. Sami Zayn has been acting as the angel on Jay's shoulder. The bloodline is one of the greatest factions in wrestling history. At the core, the group has had six members who made an impact. Roman Reigns, the Usos, Paul Heyman, Solo Sikoa, and Sami Zayn. The Canadian star left the group in January and his goal was to destroy the manipulative faction following the abuse he suffered. If Roman Reigns was the devil on Jay Uso's shoulder, Sami Zayn was the angel. The WWE Tag Team Champion did his best to guide Jay away from his abusive cousin and his words finally worked. Jay is now free of Roman once and for all. What is the name of Karrion Cross' new finisher? On the latest episode of SmackDown, a WWE superstar Karrion Cross partook in mixed tag team action. He teamed up with his wife, Scarlett, against AJ Styles and Mia Yim. Cross debuted a new finisher towards the end of the match, which ultimately granted him the win. For those unaware, Karrion Cross' new finisher is a modified pump handle slam. The former NXT champion had previously used the devastating Sato suplex as his finishing maneuver. He also has a modified chokehold, or the cross jacket as he likes to call it, in his arsenal. The Doomwalker put AJ Styles on notice with a sneak attack last week on the blue brand. The Phenomena 1 was on commentary for Mitchin's money in the bank qualifying match against Bailey. Mitchin lost the match to the role model. Scarlett showed up and blinded AJ Styles by blowing 
dust in his eyes. Cross took advantage of the distraction to put the former WWE champion in the Cross jacket. The heel duo left the ringside to allow Mitchin to attend to Styles. A mixed tag team match was booked between the two teams for SmackDown this week. The Doomwalker and the seductive Siren of Sin grabbed the win after Cross took out the leader of the OC with his new finisher. As of this writing, Karrion Cross doesn't have a match advertised for the upcoming Money in the Bank premium live event in London. The SmackDown star has feuded against the likes of Drew McIntyre and Rey Mysterio ever since he returned to WWE in 2022. It is worth noting that WWE has finalized all six participants in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. The promotion is rumored to replace one participant next Monday on Raw. Money in the Bank premium live event will take place on Saturday, July 1, 2023 at the O2 Arena in London, England. Rikishi sends a cryptic message after Jey Uso finally betrays Roman Reigns. Rikishi took to social media to send a cryptic message as Jey Uso finally made his choice and betrayed Roman Reigns on SmackDown. The closing segment of this week's SmackDown saw Jey side with his brother Jimmy. The Usos also double super kicked the Tribal Chief and the Enforcer Solo Seko. Taking to Twitter, Rikishi posted a gif of Vito Corleone, a fictional character from the Godfather series. The issues between Reigns and the Usos started after Jimmy and Jey dropped the Tag Team Championships to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at WrestleMania 39. The tribal chief wasn't happy with the bloodline losing the tag team titles and decided to take matters into his own hands. At Night of Champions, Reigns and Sicko challenged for the undisputed WWE tag team titles. However, they were unable to win the belts, courtesy of Jimmy Uso. Jimmy super kicked Reigns during the match, leading to Owens and Zayn retaining their titles. In the aftermath of this, Jimmy was booted out of the bloodline, courtesy of a Simone spike. Rikishi also sent a message ahead of Roman Reigns' return to this week's episode of SmackDown. Amid the ongoing bloodline storyline, Rikishi took to Twitter and hinted that if he would appear on WWE television and involve with his family, WWE's viewership would go off the charts. He wrote, too much for TV to handle. The views would go off the charts, hashtag you already know. Reigns has been advertised for the money in the band premium live event in London. With the use of it was now officially leaving the bloodline, it's likely that the tribal chief will team up with Solo Sicko for a match against the Usos. Would you like to see Roman Reigns and Solo Sicko versus the Usos? Sound off in the comment section. Roman Reigns' next step until UWE after major betrayal. Roman Reigns is in a world of trouble after this week's SmackDown after the Usos broke away from the bloodline. Wrestling veteran recently gave his thoughts on the final segment of the Friday Night Show. Roman Reigns made his way down to the ring for the closing segment along with Solo Sikoa and Paul Heyman. The tribal chief confronted Jay Uso and tried to drive a wedge between the Usos. He claimed that Jimmy was always jealous of him. Jay, however, did not fall for this and super kicked Roman. The twin brothers then hit double super kicks on Sikoa and Reigns. This week on the Smack Talk podcast, Mantel claimed that the final segment of the show beautifully captured another chapter of the Bloodline storyline. He claimed that with the Usos out of the faction, Reigns and Heyman would have a tough time maintaining control over the island of relevancy. Well, the last segment to me and the payoff was tremendous. I didn't think that. The finish kind of shocked me. I'm thinking, what are they going to do now? But it was time for it. Everybody's happy now the Usos are back together. Now Roman is back to scratching his head. Paul Heyman is back to scratching his head. And everybody is left with the same thought. What is Roman going to do now? How's he going to get out of this? So they turn the page, they advance the story, and I think this is still wrestling at its finest. It leaves people thinking, not only thinking, but looking forward to what they're gonna do next. As SmackDown went off the air, the cameras panned to a fallen Roman Reigns in the middle of the ring. The head of the table was shocked by the betrayal from his cousins and was lost for words. Paul Heyman also looked traumatized by the events that just transpired. The WWE Universe also got in on the action with You Deserve It chance targeted at Roman Reigns. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion slowly gathered himself and walked to the back with Solo and Heyman. What do you think will be the Tribal Chief's next course of action? Let us know in the comments section below. Jey Uso breaks silence after betraying Roman Reigns on SmackDown. The ending of tonight's episode of SmackDown will be remembered for a long time, as Jey Uso finally betrayed Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief's right-hand man sided with his brother Jimmy as the bloodline is officially broken in half. While the consequences of his actions remain a mystery, for now, the Usos are riding high as babyfaces once more. WWE's official Instagram handle posted a clip of them backstage hugging and saying they got each other's back. Jey Uso reposted it in his Instagram story, sending a two-word message and the blood emoji along with it on me, wrote Jey Uso. The immediate aftermath of Jey's betrayal of Roman Reigns will be a tag team match being set up for Money in the Bank. The Usos vs Reigns and Solo Sokoa may headline the London Premium Live event. With no clear winner, things could get even more exciting in the next few weeks. The Tribal Chief will likely defend his undisputed WWE Universal Championship at SummerSlam, with one of the Usos expected to challenge him. It remains to be seen who gets the match, but one of them would be overwhelming favorite based on the past three years of the Bloodline story. Jey has challenged Roman Reigns before, coming close to winning 
winning the Universal Championship twice in 2020. Both times, Jimmy was the reason he couldn't win. As a result, fans are desperate for them to complete the trilogy at SummerSlam, especially with a live crowd to witness it this time. However, whether this leads to the end of the Tribal Chief's epic reign is another story. Do you think Jey Uso should dethrone Roman Reigns following his massive betrayal? Sound it off in the comments section below. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me